Microsoft is ending Edge support on computers without SSE3. Microsoft has updated the official Edge documentation on the Microsoft Learn website to warn users about compatibility changes that will soon be made to the browser. Starting with the version 126, Microsoft Edge will require a processor with the SSE3 instruction set and near. Computers with CPUs that do not support SSE3 will be out of support. Just like the story with PO, PC, and T instructions in Windows 11 24H2, SSE3 supporting Microsoft Edge will only affect a small fraction of users who run the browser on very old hardware. Intel introduced uh, SSE3 in 2004 and AMD followed suit shortly. The earliest Intel processor with SSE3 include chips with Prescott cores. Pentium 4, Pentium D, Celeron D, etc. On the AMD side, those are Opteron, Samprom, Atron 64, and others that were based on KA. Microsoft Edge 126 is expected in the stable channel on the, tweak, on the week of June 13, 2024. As of right now, Microsoft Edge has the following software requirements. Windows, Windows 10 and Windows 11. Mac OS, Catalina 10.15 and newer. iOS, iOS and iPad OS 14 and newer. Android, Android 4.4 KitKat and newer. Linux, yes. Chromebooks, Edge doesn't support Chromebooks. The last time Microsoft updated the documentation was in January 2023, when the company notified users about the, in the end of Microsoft Edge support on Windows 7, 8, 8.1, Server uh, 2008 R2, Server 2012, and Server 2012 R2. H109 is the last version that works on those platforms. Some of uh, the other processor related changes in Microsoft products include the original Windows on ARM PCs. Although Snapdragon 835 was never supported in Windows 11, it was possible to bypass hardware requirements and run the latest OS unofficially. Starting with Windows 11 version 24H2, the operating system requires ARM v H.1 and newer, which renders uh, the Snapdragon 835 physically enable to run the upcoming update. There are also reliable rumors about AMD not supporting Windows 10 in next generation Ryzen processors.